I, I am so excited about how well this is working. I feel like somebody's just tuning up recreationally on here. I'm not really sure what's going on. Uh, Kilo 7 Sierra Whiskey. Kilo India 7 Whiskey. Do that with a K7 uh, WJP. This is K7 Sugar Whiskey. Yo, I'm running, I think, about four watts. Over. I copy you uh, 5 5 here into Utah County. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin, K7 Sierra Whiskey. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you a collaboration, a test that I did with Eric, KI7 WJP. And for this experiment, this test I'm going to do with Eric, I'm going to be using my NVIS antenna that I'm using some military poles and the pattern that comes from a DX engineering, well, it's actually a military design, the AS2259 antenna. And I'll put a link in the description below. But this is an antenna that I've used a number of occasions. I keep it in my garage, ready for an opportunity like this. Now the footprint for this antenna is about 45 feet in the four directions. This is a multi-band antenna that I'm gonna be using for this experiment both 40 meters and 80 meters. And for Eric, Eric's put together this 40 meter, 80 meter link dipole, and he's got it low to the ground, so it should also produce some NVIS characteristics. Now the goal for this video, working with Eric on this project, was to see how well or how bad radio communications would be using NVIS uh, between our two locations on 40 and 80 meters. So here's how it went. Your audio sounds great, so no need to change there. I, I only got the last uh, probably one third of that, but um, but you are coming through. I, I'm actually really impressed we're doing this with such low power at this hour of the day. Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, what a great test for this first test using NVIS antennas. I saw you do a little more power in my 12 watts, and I'm probably only getting half of that out to you because of the way my antenna is set up. I'm not it's very good at it this way. And since you're not copying me fully, I'm not going to go on and on, but I thought I'd talk just long enough in case my signal goes up and down. Uh, back to you, Eric. I am so stoked because I, I don't know, but this is as far as Envis goes. So what I'm using for my antenna setup is a tilt-up base that I put together using a cutting board from the store, four tent stakes, and my military tent fiberglass poles. And for my feed point for this antenna, I took a piece of coax, maybe six inches long. I split the coax between the center insulator and the braid and put ring terminals on them for my connection. Now the T-fitting, which is what the coax is hooked up to, is a part that I got from DX Engineering a few years back, and that will also be in the description below. So I strapped the feed line and the antenna wires to that center T, and that's hooked to the top mast, which I'll be using for getting the antenna up in the air. The mast itself is about 12 feet high. I'm just using those four foot military poles to get this antenna up in the air. The ends of the antenna element go out as far as I can reach them and tent staked into the ground. This is probably what you would expect in an emergency situation when you need to use your radio and you're just setting up wherever you can with whatever you can. I'm setting up in my backyard right now and I have way less than optimal conditions. The fact that it's working to you, um, that's a good sign. Also, this is my first QSO with my new uh, 817ND. <laughs> new, I, I think it's probably 12 years old, but I'm really, really excited to have a, a lighter radio. Um, Tell me what your antenna is. Is it a dual band NVIS antenna? Uh, well, you're, you're not going to believe this, but I've got a 
It definitely would be a good antenna to use in an emergency situation. We're going to try 40 meters next. You're going to go set that up and give me a call back, and then we're going to try that. Well, Eric, you sound really good. You sound better on this frequency than you did on 80 meters. Um, this antenna is better for me on this band, but um, yeah. Oh, I think uh, running about four watts, whatever low three is on this radio, you are coming in at a, a five and eight. Um, I can see there's still a little bit of QSP. I imagine that has something to do with it because lately the bands have been pretty crummy. We'll call this a wrap, and I call that a huge success for your antenna and that new radio. Thanks again, Kevin. 7-3. I think this test went really well between Eric and I. Band conditions were not that good. There was a lot of atmospheric noise. But our antennas worked really well. Since we both had NVIS antennas, we had a better chance of making a connection. I'll put a link in the description below for Eric's channel. Make sure you go check him out. And if you haven't gotten out with a friend to do an NVIS configuration or antenna test with someone in your local area, make sure you hit them up and get out and try this. It's always great to experiment with different antennas and learn something new. So make sure you click that like button down below. And if you're new here, consider subscribing to get more videos like this. Thanks for watching 73. See you on the next one.